It's Thursday. You already know what happened. You already know. Jason, shut up. You're not even on the screen yet. <laughs> I'm not here. You already know it. See here, I ruined everything. <laughs> We're going to the Super Bowl. I got excited. I got excited. We're going. Everybody's excited. We got to the Super Bowl. So. <laughs> We're the Good Luck Podcast. We're, yeah. Well, somebody messaged me and they're like, uh, I don't even know if you're a real Eagles fan because you don't wear Eagles gear in your podcast. And I'm like, first of all. Not every time. First of all, I haven't worn it. And I realized I hadn't worn it. And we had like won like four in a row. And I right. told myself, I'm not wearing it. So, so I mean, like, I don't know. Good luck or not. I'm like, I'm not wearing them this week. I'm not wearing nothing. Gotta have them. Yeah, right. I'm the like, uh, green. right. Yeah, I got my jersey's been hanging on my kitchen chair the whole season. It's literally been hanging on the chair. You gotta keep it real. So <laughs> it's just sitting there. And then I got all my other jerseys in the closet. So I, I don't care because we're going to the Super Bowl. Super Bowl. And uh, everybody is so mad. I'm not even going to give people airtime clips to, like, post it. But, like, <laughs> people are, fans are fugazi. They're out celebrating in the streets. If you were a real football fan, you'd, you'd be, be watching Patrick Mahomes I and Joe Bur- I'm like, first of all, bro, I live in the 20th century. I got DVR. Yeah, okay? My phone tells me everything that's happening right as it happens. And I can go home and rewatch the game. Right. I can watch person all day tomorrow. And they're going to show me everything that goes down. Dan Orlovsky is going to give me all the breakdowns, bro. <laughs> you, you, you think I need to know the back pedal time? Like, right. you know, like <laughs> I'm a, I'm a fan, especially young fans. Yeah. It's the youth. They out there getting loose, drinking juice. And it was a home game. You doofus. When I leave, it's a tailgate after party. You drinking all day, drinking all night. I just migrated up towards city hall. Yeah. Then the, the one football player's girlfriend who spends her Instagram. Oh, Fred Warner. Yeah. She posted again today. Uh, so her Instagram is basically her putting on makeup in the mirror, and she's hot. I I get yeah, it. She she's a super, uh, a, a super super hot chick. But she's like, oh my god, all I wore was a red purse, and I was getting <laughs> shoved and f you'd. And, like first of all, nobody shoved you because you were nobody shoved you. You had to be either in a box or you were in a family section. Yeah. So you were surrounded by other people. I mean, like she said, the stadium was filled with dark energy. Dark energy. It was full of dark yeah. energy. A lot of dark green. That's right. <laughs> and so, like, I'm like, what are we talking about? And then on top of that, then she comes back later. She's like, it's not that serious. Yeah, because you look like a little punk, and your boyfriend said you're making me look soft. Yes, because he like, knows what it is. Yeah, and again, yeah. not for nothing, we've talked about this. You go into every other stadium. The Raiders have fights every week. The Murders. Rams, <laughs> L.A., they, they're not even real fans, and they're out there drinking and fighting. So... I don't care what right. you say about how Philadelphia is. Yes, small children are giving you the bird and telling you to go fuck yourself. Because it's funny. Because it's funny. <laughs> right. There's and, no malice behind that. Yeah. That and, kid doesn't know. And it's and it's sports. <laughs> right. It's sports. Dan Olosky's like, some girl came up and gave my son the middle finger and then showed her boobs to him. And he's yeah. like, oh, my God. I'm like, yeah. Welcome to the world, yeah. Captain 10-year-old. Like, you just got... You got double double deuced out of here. You are a man. Yeah, you're a man now. Like so, people are drunk. They're vibing. They're having fun. And guess what? If your team beats our team, we have to sit there and humbly shut up. Yeah. And take your drumming. And we don't always shut up, but yeah. you know. But I mean, you you kind of do. You're like, right. yeah. I mean, like you. It shuts it down a lot. I mean, that whole first quarter. Yeah, it was quiet. When when the number one defense was holding us down, till we had to keep kicking them in the face, kicking them in the face, kicking them in the face. Yeah. It was real quiet in the stadium. So. That's how you keep people quiet. There You're... was one Niners fan that posted on TikTok how he went there and he knew what it was going to be. Yeah. And he was like, you got to have a sense of humor and you got to have some thick skin when you're there. Yeah. Mr. Joey Bosa. And so. And Scared. They're, and they're, they're, <laughs> I, I saw so many like 49ers fans who aren't punks right. and aren't sissies. The one guy, they lost. He's up in the 700 level. He turned around, shook the hands like three Eagles fans behind it. him. Respect. And and the, his his uh, brother, whoever was next to him, looked, they looked like twins. So I assume it was his brother. Right. High five somebody and gave him the deuces, and they're like, they gave him a salute, like, "Hey, have a good night." Yeah, man, that's it. Because guess what? That's really all it is. That's really all it is. Now they had to sit there and hear the heckling all game long. Yeah. But when time to get your championship, you know what I mean, your conference championship came, they say, "Hey, good game," and rolled out. Like that's more often the case after hearing "f you, f you, f you," right. and Bosa out there. Because I'm rich. Yeah, you're <laughs> poor. I'm like, first of all, if you're at an NFC Championship game, you're not poor. Right. Your minimum <laughs> buy-in is $900. Well, like, I wasn't there. I'm poor. No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> your, your minimum buy-in is $900. Bucks. Right. Depending on where you're sitting, it goes on to like nine eighteen k bro. Yeah. So 
stop with the I'm rich stuff because you still suck. You still keep getting bounced out of the playoffs. And yeah, you're a Bosa boy, but y'all Bosa, Bosa bitches because Bosa came out to talk about too. Oh, well, you know, the Eagles got so many players and teams are talking about how lucky the Eagles are. Right. Yes. The Philadelphia Eagles are the luckiest team in the NFL. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> That's the case. That's so big. What are they supposed to apologize? The, the, right. the, the Philadelphia Eagles had the softest schedule in the National Football League. Go fuck yourself. I still don't think that's true, by the way. I 100 percent I think it's the truth. I, I think they had the easiest schedule in the NFL. But then and everybody I tells me you, how hard their division was. No, no, forget the division. Yeah, they had the easiest schedule in the NFL. Easiest. Then why aren't the Cowboys in the Super Bowl? That's right. Same schedule. Yeah. Niners were good that week. Yeah. Now they stink again. Yeah, but, uh, yep. nope. <laughs> the Vikings, the number two seed. Lost. To the now, Giants, who to, are in the Eagles. The, to be fair oh, about the Vikings, everybody, everybody knew that they were forgetting. Yeah, I know, but you get the uh, point. I know. <laughs> <laughs> They're the one team I don't even bring up because everybody said how you know, easy you, they were. When they lost, you're like, well, yeah. Yeah, that's true. yeah. It, and, and it was no shame. And, and so the Giant guy came out talking about Nick Sirianni's along for the ride. Oh, yeah. Um, Jordan Love. No, not Jordan Love. Julian Love. Julian Love. Yeah. It, it, it's just me. It's it feels so good to hate on Philadelphia, and I appreciate it. Good. I'm Let that hate run for through it. you. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, and feel it. <laughs> uh, uh, the Kelsey does not our Kelsey uh, has a bad back. Uh, hey, my day. That sounds like stuff? a personal problem. Right. Uh, they said Miko Hardman's probably not going to play. Uh, no, nope. hurt. Ha- well, have the Bengals. Okay, so let's just talk about the Bengals real quick. Bengals. Because you were sending me the, the links to the, you know, the shut your roll and watch your oh. mouth, jabroni. That was weak, by the way. Every, oh, God. it was <laughs> He's so, all of that was corny. Yeah. I'm sorry. That I love him. 15 years ago. I, right. And then he said something directly after that. I can't remember what it was, but it was yeah. super corny. Yeah. And he said jabroni. Was he the said jabroni, word. but oh, then he said something else, like, cliche right after that. Yeah. And I'm like, first of all, it's all fun and games. But second of all, y'all use that as Baltimore material. You won by three points. Right. And the same thing with Burrowhead. They won all those games have been won by less than like five points. Right. So yeah, you lost three times in a row, but you won because one player was a moron and pushed Patrick Mahomes out of bounds. And you got it. Oh my God, it was such so a bad play. The Bengals <laughs> bungled. Like I thought they were past that with Burrow now, but they that's classic Bengals. Yeah. Um I mean, and so, Mahomes sold the shit out of that too. Oh, yeah, he looked but he, like but, a soccer player. But he was way out of bounds. Absolutely, and he, was he was way out of bounds. But still, he made sure. I was just like, yo. So, the, uh, the, all that trash talk and Patrick Mahomes' dad, who looks like a a a, 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 a drug addict. I'm gonna say it. I don't oh, care. We're going against him. A former MLB I, player. Come on. I, I know he's not a drug addict. I said he <laughs> looks like one. I'm I am overweight and rotund, and he is extremely thin. He's probably in good health and shape, but he kept trying to spark that cigar. Yeah. He couldn't do it, and he just looked like an old doofus dad. Somebody said he looks like the type of dad that has a cigarette hanging out of his mouth the whole time when he's talking. <laughs> just that one hanging. Like, I wish I had. I wish I had something. He'd be like, let me. Think, let, it's a carburetor, boy. Let me. Come here, boy. Yes, exactly. It's a copper. Give me, give me, give me two packs of uh, 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 cigarillos and a uh, 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 eight pack of Miller Light. I get a, I get a fix. Way. I get a fix. Like and so he was on there. He's like, I'm smoking on that Joe Burrow. Yeah, like I didn't get that either. He just, uh, I didn't get that one. So that's a black thing when people smoke weed and they have really good weed. And they give it names because they all have names. Mm-hmm. And when you want to diss someone, you say that you're smoking on that. I'm smoking on that Jay Ferg because I, hey, you know I mean, hey. F Ferguson. You know what I mean? I'm smoking on that Ferguson. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I smoked them. You know what I mean? Like I'm out here. That's what that. That's why I said it was this corny, uh, really weird drug mentality. But again, I look at the son and I'm like, oh, Patrick is the only. Patrick and his mom, I don't know how they survived. Right. <laughs> I don't know how his mother and how he survived. His brother. Ooh. His brother. Wow. Yeah. Uh, I don't want I don't want them to win another Super Bowl just so I don't have to deal with the brother. Yeah. Uh the the girlfriend, the wife. The wife. Wow. Yeah. How? Uh <laughs> Patrick made a mistake on that one. Case in point. <laughs> now Leah watches football. She just watched football with me. We we're after the Eagles game, you know, she sat there and, and after the Chiefs game, she heard Patrick Mahomes. With his voice speak, and I wish I, I wish I had it on videotape. <laughs> like she surprise. turned up, like 
Like she was upset. She's like, "Who is talking?" Right. And she turns. She's like, "He plays football." And I'm like, "Yeah, very well too." I was like, "He's the guy I always talk about." She's like, "He's always got his helmet on." And I've never heard him talk before. Because yeah. she's like, "That's Patrick Mahomes." I'm like, "Yeah, that's Patrick Mahomes." Yeah. <laughs> he got blessed. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh gosh, his voice. So yeah, that whole thing. You barely beat the Bengals. The Bengals had three offensive linemen out, and you did. Oh, they're like John Jones. And we're gonna come on, bro. They had three offensive linemen out. You could barely do anything the whole game. Joe Barrow's the truth. Joe Barrow is the best quarterback in the NFL. Ooh. Joe Barrow's the best quarterback in the NFL. Hey. Patrick Mahomes is the best athlete playmaker. playmaker. If whatever, whatever kind of adjective right. you want to give him besides quarterback, like he's the he's the new make it happen captain. You know, best overall, whatever, best yeah. at down, but. As far as I'm gonna stand here and I'm gonna deliver this ball, right? It's Joe Burrow. Yeah. I mean, my goodness, in the rain, hail, sleet, and or snow, dime, dime, <laughs> dime. Like uh, he he's the best quarterback in the NFL. Um, here. So he's got some good ass receivers. He got some. Oh god, he got some good ass receivers. <laughs> and his receiver went down. So, uh, like I said, good good job, y'all beat. Uh, 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 Joe Burrow, because Joe Burrow is going to have y'all's number. The Bengals are going to be a problem until Joe gets paid. Well, it was scripted, that's why. No, we have no. that nonsense that started well, this week. Too. I'm, ta- I'm talking so fast because we got so much stuff to get through. The dumbest story ever. No, I 100 believe that the NFL is scripted. <laughs> you know how I know it's scripted? Yeah, go ahead. I know it's scripted. Yeah. When you got I script? just watched it, well, yeah. no, I mean, <laughs> well, you know. I've had previous scripts. I'm not going to talk about <laughs> scripts recently. I've, 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 I've seen the script in uh, Days of Future Past. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> today I watched a video clip uh-huh. of Jalen Hurts yep. after the game when he got replaced by Tua. Mm-hmm. The reporter asked him, so what did you think when you uh, when you had at halftime when Tua had to go in? What did you say to him? What did you how'd you feel? I, honestly, how'd you feel? Right. Instantly, he didn't roll his eyes. He didn't look up to the left or right. Yeah, he was good so at either it. Either he's a he sociopath lied. or he, he didn't lie. Because <laughs> if you lie, you start. I forget which one you it is, up. but you look up and over because your yeah. brain looks for register mm-hmm. place to go. He literally said, "That's my guy. I believe in him. I told him go ball, go right. ball." That's not the real like, answer. The real answer is I was fucking pissed. <laughs> I oh, Facebook, get out of here. <laughs> Sorry, people. I went off in the headphones. Yeah, it did. Because <laughs> it's, you know, the internet. I'm a horrible person. I'm connected. Oh, we're good. The uh, fans. No, he was true. He believed oh, I that. I think he really does believe that stuff. I, He's a weirdo. I, so uh, the whole coach's son, yeah. team player, do your job stuff, all that stuff that some guys say, like he believes that. Right. He believes that. When he came to the Eagles, he was, he said all the right things. He did all the right things. He went out and did his job. He went out there the one time uh, uh, Carson got hurt and balled yep. against the Saints and went and sat right back down, didn't say nothing. He was happy to be the number two. Uh, didn't even, I remember <laughs> he didn't even want to answer questions. Right. That way he's like, I'm not starting quarterback. Right. It's not my question. Like, so I, I've got to believe that, like, it's how he feels in his heart, and he believes in his destiny. He takes all this stuff. People keep saying, who's the better quarterback, Patrick Mahomes or Jalen Hurts? It's Patrick Mahomes. Patrick no, it's Mahomes, not, Patrick Mahomes. It's not really J- that close. J- Jalen, if you're listening, it's Patrick Mahomes. It's, yeah. it's, a matter of fact, it's everybody else but you. I want this man to have this kind of drive <laughs> in his heart for the rest of his life. Okay? I hope so. Now, again, we're talking fast. We're mixing and matching. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I fucking hate Tom Brady. And for the people who comment when I say I hate a player, you don't even know him. I'm like, yeah, no kidding. I got in an argument with a guy <laughs> who said that you don't even know. I was like, so you've never hated a president, an actor, right. actress. Right. No, one. he's like, I've never, I was like, okay, so now you're full of shit and right. you're just bothering right. me because you are on Jordan's dick. Right. Anyway, I hate Tom Brady. Tom Brady is a cheater. The only credit I give Tom Brady for carrying a team is in the middle of the 20 years and that three Super Bowls that he won where he put up 40,000 yards those. because the first ones were cheating and defense. The last one, uh, uh, more cheating and defense. And then you went to a loaded team and brought Gronk with you. And you went against Patrick Mahomes when they got out three offensive linemen. So, oh, yeah, you guys beat the Bengals without their offensive linemen. Well, guess what? He beat you without three offensive linemen, too. So, yeah. Tom Brady can go fuck himself. Well, I care less. And then fuck NFL Network and that stupid guy who was like, <laughs> you're going to know where you were today. Like JFK, oh, yeah. like, 9-11. like, bro, you invoke yeah. 9-11 and right. I'm supposed to know. 
You are going to know. You're going. To, first of all, there's a lot of fucking people out there who aren't Patriots right. or Tom Brady fans. Like bringing up 9/11. Like and this what isn't are we the first doing? one? No. Like this happened last year. I'm like, what? Are we, and, and that's the, and that's the other reason why I fuck Tom Brady because we went through. I had to hear How the same did? narrative. Had to hear the same stories. Had to hear the same bullshit last year. You only get one goodbye swan song from me. I could give a fuck that you're retired. Right, I have I, a question. Was that beep like a sleeper cell thing that awoke your Tom Brady hate? Like what the hell happened here? How did uh, we get here? You I said, just said nothing about Tom Brady. You said <laughs> nothing. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm getting to a point. <laughs> okay. I'm getting to a point. I'm just confused. Fuck Tom how we Brady. Got here. Fuck Tom Brady. <laughs> fuck Tom Brady. I'm getting to a point. All right. Uh, back to where I was saying Tom Brady. Fuck Blue him. Berries. Everybody said it. Nobody <laughs> don't believe. He got the whole fucking team fired. Bruce Aaron was too orient, too drill orientated and too precise. So you fucking go get Bowles in there. Then Bowles is in there. Now you're too lackadaisical. No, bitch. Everybody injured. You got old started making shitty passes. <laughs> then you got left which fired because they're trying to maintain you. Now you're going to leave this fucking like you're a fucking <laughs> devastational star, you piece of shit. And I can't stand Tom Brady. And what I will say, my whole point of going to say fuck Tom Brady is thank you, Tom Brady. For working out with Jalen over the summer, yeah, and giving him the chip on his shoulder that you had on your shoulder, and he made yes. that leap because now Tom Brady is somehow riding Jalen Hurts' dick out of all the quarterbacks. Now, this you know, he shook his head. You know very well, <laughs> yes, you fucking piece of shit. You know very well, Tom Brady hates mediocre to low average quarterbacks. He yeah. thinks of them as fucking gum on his. He shoes. actually knows them, like how what, we hate them, but we don't know. What, he and, knows them, and and the worst part about him is he's a mediocre piece of shit who had to work and drive and and strive and build himself up but he's not some great guy he's not the he's not peyton manning he's not the brilliant bomb bomb the whole time he built himself up so he should be more likely to like the dumb shitty quarterback like hey bro you, you could get like me you got an arm i didn't even have an arm i built this you can go build it if you want a piece of shit but he's not he's a scumbag and i hate him but anyway love him for this he loves jalen hurts <laughs> Worked out with him. Jalen's heart went up because Jalen's got that same chip on his shoulder, the same drive, the same I want to be, I'm going to be, believe in me or don't believe in me, chip, 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 watch me ball. When this gets replayed, I'm going to look like Mike Myers standing next to Kanye, huh? <laughs> like, I'm just, like, uncomfortable, <laughs> look, like, look, I don't look. know Tom Brady like, does not like black people. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> say it right. He's got to stare into the camera. Let me, let me say it again. Tom Brady does not like black people. That, that might be the title <laughs> of the show. Tom, forget the Super Bowl. Tom Brady does not like black people. But... <laughs> He's a uh, Michigan guy. That's the, he, 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 <laughs> I'm just kind of stuck I, here. Oh, yeah. I, mean, I always forget that's why you love Tom Brady and his cheating stuff. We always try to stick up for him and try to knife him because he's Go a blue. Michigan guy. Well, then he get benched in Michigan because yeah, he yeah, For Drew Henson. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah. anyway, that's how I felt while you were ram right there. That's about th Mike Myers. -ish. Th kind of. Thanks, Tom Brady, for working out. <laughs> thanks, with Tom Brady. Thanks, Tom Brady, for working out with Jay Little over the summer because it worked. Because it worked. Yeah. And uh, again, my point is that is that he gives him such reverence and respect when he talks about Jalen. Yeah. I'm like, well, he showed him something. Now he showed us something. Yeah. Sixteen and one as a starter, and uh, just doubling back again. Man, so much stuff. That one guy who said Nick's along for the ride. I I'm going to say this. Nick might be along for the ride. Who cares? He outcoached Shanahan last week, though. Coach circles around. Let him. me get back to Shanahan. <laughs> I tried focus. to give Shanahan. I told you last week. <laughs> I, I tried to give Shanahan some love for the Shanahan family. I know that they fucked up the Super Bowl and they've lost games. Man, they've lost some heartbreaker of games. Mm -hmm. But this game, you deserved to have the shit kicked out of you. Literally, you walked into a grown man's house. Tried to block him with some backups. <laughs> You walked to a grown man's house. So here's my take on the whole thing, right? And did that? How many years now has San Fran had a quarterback get hurt? All the time. All the time, right? All the time. At some point, it's got to be the blocking scene's got to be looked at, right? It can't constantly be bad luck. Because they're a run-blocking team and not a pass-blocking team. Right. And so you get destroyed. But again, you leave the backup tight end. Right, to block. On the Assassin right. Reddick. <laughs> on Assassin yeah. Reddick. That's the name, right? Yeah, I know. Assassin? Yeah, yeah, yeah I think it's Assassin. Yeah. Close enough. <laughs> uh, uh, for, so you deserve to get your ass kicked like that. Like, Bosa tried his best. Yeah. But Lane Johnson, thank you, Lane Johnson. Yeah. Thank you, Lane Johnson, for showing that if you have mental health issues, you can go get help, come back, and do your job, Ben Simmons. But this, <laughs> not only is the end of that, you went, oh, man, no, 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 no. <laughs> this is Philadelphia. Fuck everybody. Fuck it's just us. I'm in these streets. I give a ham sandwich. I, suck them. That's why. That's why. <laughs> that is why. 
Oh, so much aggressive. Because I had to hear so much people shit. Like yeah, I said. Yeah, yeah. Keep so, going. Unload it. Uh, Nick Sirianni is long for the ride. One, because he gave up play calling it. Stike is out here stiking it. Gannon, I got to give Gannon some dang up kudos. I, I apologize. Uh, <laughs> somewhat. As long, as he get, as long as he get me a Super Bowl. He gets me a Super Bowl. I got to say sorry to everybody. But Nick is out here with the cheerleading and the pom-poms and the yeah, you damn right. He's and got him believing. He got him <laughs> believing. He's 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 ma- he's saying all the right things and pushing all the right buttons. But I would tell you this: if he's along for the ride, that means he's driving the bus. That's At the right. end of the day, <laughs> he's on the bus. He's the head of the bus. It don't matter if he's along for the ride. You know, where you know what I mean? He, he he's up there. The bus driver to let you fuck around the back and find out. You know you what know? I'm saying? He would have challenged that play when Devontae Smith got up and clearly knew he didn't catch that ball. So <laughs> when you immediately like rush, hurry, like <laughs> again. That's poor coaching because yeah. no matter what, if you can't see it and you see them rushing down, you they rushed down forty. They caught. They ran forty yards. Right. <laughs> you. Why are you rushing? Like yeah. because you didn't catch the ball. Yes. You don't he call got the up immediately calling for the quick hurry up. Let's run that play. And then it was pretty on, much a giveaway. And then on top of that, besides the whole blocking thing, besides not calling that challenge, besides not calling timeout, mm-hmm. you didn't activate Jimmy Garoppolo. Because you didn't want to mess with the psyche of Brock Purdy. Right. So you came in to a championship game with Brock, Rock and Jock, Suck My Cock, Purdy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you came in with that guy. And who is the backup behind him? Josh Johnson. Are you out of years your, in the league? <laughs> are you out of your fucking mind? Right. You got rid of the guy two times. Right. You can't. That's who you came with the backup. Jimmy G's over the sideline, grinning like a Look, chicken so in a hen house, knowing he's about to get paid. Oh my god! <laughs> Even if he doesn't get paid, he gets right. to get the fuck out of Dodge and this bullshit of not being protected, getting injured every year. Even though he's just naturally injury prone, he's uh, he a porn star. Jimmy's Mr. Glass. It's all good. But uh, yeah, but he's over there giggling. I'm like, oh, so you're gonna act him for the Super Bowl, though, right? Yeah, save you're gonna act him for the Super Bowl, right? Yeah. But you didn't have him ready for this week. Mm-hmm. You're a piece of shit, and you deserve what you get. Do you know what That's the worst what coaching moment of that entire game was? Tell me. When it was 14-7 Eagles with under two minutes left in the first half and the 49ers get the ball back and they have the audacity with the four-string quarterback to try and drive up the field in a hurry up. Turnover, 21-7, game over. That's a wrap. Kiss the baby, all those things, it's done. So the defense, again, people are like, oh, it's like, the Eagles were going against the number one defense. That's why the, the offense looked disjointed. And that's why the offense looked disjointed. But yeah. guess what? No, like Jalen didn't look right. Like, uh, yeah, yeah. That defense makes it, most quarterbacks it, it, not look yeah. right. Yeah. But guess what? They kept punching him in the face, yep. punching him in the face. And next thing you know, they took a nut shot and they were laid on the ground. We just kept walking into the end zone. No, after they that. had their D. Wagner was like, the, the, like the, the, <laughs> again, that was, that was the first time uh, I saw Steichen in game make adjustments. Yeah, he outcoached Ryan with the adjustments. <laughs> And not only that, I thought to myself, man, is this why I've been dealing with this vanilla bullshit all season? He's like, I've been holding back. Because like, I, yeah. I do believe that they held back. Because remember, the uh, we went like 22 and 0 on fourth and ones. Yes. Then we get stopped. Yep. Then the next two times they run it the same way. But that fake But one. then they have the fake yeah, one. Like, oh, hold and on. then they have the outside skirt. Because they're like, oh, let me just test these real quick yeah. just to make sure. Everybody wants to load up. They're, they're stopping just us. Know. We still got something right. else to do. And so you do that. So the I. counter is important, right? Kudos to the staff. Yeah. French kiss. Uh, I just want to rock body yada yada. I. Kelsey killed that dance, by the way. He did. Uh, like. uh, 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 uh. <laughs> this is what you want. Uh, so yeah, Super Bowl. I never would have expected this in the beginning of the year. I won't lie. I, I'm gonna lie and say that I did. Like I hoped. I always hope every year, but so I didn't think. I, I mean, I was hoping to win a playoff. Game. I talked like a crazy person mm-hmm. before the season started. I said the team was gonna go 14 and three. No, 14 and four. Three. Because I was excited. And oh. <laughs> jo- Johnny Marks actually corrected me. He's like, well, technically they have to go 14. And, uh, or I said, 15, and so I finally whatever, like, well, whatever, yeah. 15. I was like, 15, whatever. Matter like, yeah. of fact, we're going undefeated because I was mad at myself because <laughs> no, I, right. yeah. I got the number wrong like an <laughs> asshole. I was like, so I was like, fuck, we're going undefeated. So uh, did the slow walk for an hour yeah. after you like, mad at yourself. And, and, and once we won six games, I'm like, oh, well, we're going to go to the Super Bowl. Yeah. And I just was always on train with the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. Same thing I was with – um with the Phillies, when Bryce went down, mm-hmm. the team was so rocking after we got rid of uh, Girardi. Girardi. 
I was just like, yo, we can win everything. We could do everything. I believe because we, you know, we had won like 30 yeah. straight games. <laughs> I was, we go to, we win in the world championship. Like I was on it. And then once he got hurt, everybody's like, oh, you still on it? You still, you still on it? So I had to stick we with it. We always have to be tested as Philly fans, right? We oh, never just yeah. have fun times. No, no, because it's got to be one, because, one check you. Because we do talk really loud. I just we called do. Brock it's, it's Purdy, Cock Purdy, or something Dude. five minutes ago. So I, that kid's I mean, like 13 years we, old. We do we talk, <laughs> Philadelphia, we do talk a lot of shit. Call so. us our irrelevant names. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, they're definitely not bringing back uh, Jimmy anymore. So, random again, just jumping around. Uh, D'Amico going to the Texans. They had another black coach, three in a row. Yeah. They like black people. Yeah. They uh, don't, but they but they keep hiring they, coaches that way. It's I mean, weird. it's it is weird, but they keep, also keep firing after one year. So D'Amico got a six year deal this time. He did because D'Amico's smart. He's yes. like, I'm not coming here. <laughs> but also, he's fr- he played for them. He knows yeah. the area. He's a culture guy, and blah blah blah. I blah, hope blah, he does blah. well, but that's an irrelevant organization. Oh like, yeah. So if they're good, bad, it really yeah. doesn't matter to yeah. me. But I always liked him when he was here. Yeah. He was let. He was the captain of the defense here. Mufasa, yeah, all that shit. Yeah, like just, yeah. just so. good, good times. Uh, so uh, wish him well. Wish him well. Uh, Deuce Daly went to Carolina, following Frank Reich, left Detroit. Yeah, that's a mistake. That's a mistake. Yeah, that's not the unless case. it's. I don't even know unless what the move the is. Full OC because, job. Uh, uh, hopefully, and if that's the case, then, then it's yes. the right move. Because he's like assistant coach. Yeah. For I don't even know how that works out. But the Lions, man, the Lions uh, offensive coordinator stayed. So we got shit to get finished. And I'm yep. like, oh, kudos to you for not leaving. Because he could have two or three different head coaches. I know. Jobs. Gannon people, said he's staying wanted, now, too. For well, Gannon years. is too it's, late for Gannon because everybody that, that he wanted to go to already hired somebody. And Steichen's when, still interviewing this yeah. week. Don't take that Colts job. You don't want that job either. No. It's, it's not the one. Jim Mercy. Avoid Arizona and Indianapolis. Don't yeah, take those jobs. Yeah, he's not taking those jobs. He's not going anywhere. They're going to the Super Bowl. They're going to stay together. And uh, we're going to, quote, unquote, run it back. Um, yes, which is. Everybody's yeah. like, oh, my God, we're going to have a five-year window. That was the whole thing on the radio yesterday about having a five-year window. Who knows? You can't tell me. Anything, I right? don't give a fuck about tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, give me the win today. Win the Super Bowl. I need the Super Bowl today. And, uh, Got that top ten pick, though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. That was the other thing about Tom Brady being a piece of shit and an asshole, and I can't stand him. Besides the fact that he ruined his family <laughs> and life and marriage over one year of bad, mediocre football, mm-hmm. he could have just stayed home with his family. Three hundred million dollars is waiting for you. I don't know what he was thinking. Yeah. No Gronk. Gronk was like, I'm out. I'd have been out with Gronk. No Gronky, no Brady. That would have been me. <laughs> yeah. I'd have been like, no Gronky, no Brady. Once I couldn't talk him back, I wouldn't come back. But what I'll say again, uh, uh, thank you, Tom, for hanging out with Jalen. Now, if you could talk Jalen into taking that bullshit hometown discount, yeah, yeah, where please. he only takes thirty five million a yeah. year, get an organization. So- Develop one of those. We put some money in the side. So we, so we can funnel just, it that way. Man, right. look. Because that's what New England did forever. Jalen, I will buy your Uggs all day, every day. If you got doing little, the Frosted Flakes commercial, Frosted now. Flakes, I'll buy more. Frosted Flakes, Jaylen if you helps. If you got the little <laughs> little Michael Jordan gangrene yeah, cheap gold like. earrings, I'll buy those. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, whatever we can do, you just, know what I mean? You know. <laughs> yeah, start growing the locks back. We can get lock oil. We, I mean, we can get barrettes. Like, we, we can do all kinds of things to fund your lifestyle. Yeah, yeah we got you. Uh, <laughs> just, just go talk to Brady about right. that, because Don't that's the, the other thing. That's the killer. That it is, and that's why Tom Brady got to do what he did for so long. And also because, you know, Gazelle, Giselle, Brazil had a lot of money too. But I mean, that's the thing that kept him going for so long. So people are like, oh, can he do it? I'm like, if Patrick Mahomes says, look, $500 million and owning a piece of the Royals is good enough for me, I want to start winning all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Load me up. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, Do we miss anything? No, we kind of, we shortchanged the Super Bowl. Do we Eagles are we doing any Super Bowl talk yet or not? Bus next driver. Um, fuck Tom Brady. Giants fans, punks. The Giants 49ers went out like punks at the end of that game. Uh, we didn't talk about that. They look like the biggest punks. That I, I was getting livid because I'm like, at this point, now you're just trying, trying to hurt, hurt people. Yeah, like Trent Williams, who's a scary, scary human being, who yeah. I would never say this to to his face, but get fucked. Trent Williams. Oh, yeah. What'd I say? Wherever you are in this world, yeah. <laughs> I will tell you to your face. Y'all won't. 
You I mean, are, you can hit me, though. You I'm are rich. Oh, yeah. yeah. See, that's what I'm <laughs> talking about. Cell phone out. See, you're you, you in the wrong part of history. You're right. My bad. You are <laughs> a scumbag, trash panda, piece of shit, yeah. gum liquor. You probably eat your own farts. I can't stand you. <laughs> don't know you. Don't want to know you. And if I ever yeah. see you in these streets, I will gladly look you right in your face and tell you, go fuck yourself. Tell them you go birds. Ball like Double a girl. Bird. Right. Hey, look, look. You couldn't protect nobody. Yeah. <laughs> you couldn't protect nobody. Oh, ooh. And I'd wait for him to just knock me back in the next week. Yeah. And when I get out of that wheelchair, we're going to party like it's 1999. Did you hear talking about him today? He said when Trent Williams came rushing around that corner when he pulled the one time the Slay side, Slay was like, oh, man, I saw my whole life flash. Just He did the – Slay took a business decision on that one, oh, as oh, he wow, should. Wow. Everybody took a business decision on that McCaffrey run. Well, I'm yeah. like, y'all, y'all had Well, it. Epps did his head down, <laughs> dive at the legs thing that he likes to do. I, like, so I, I said, Epps, you did – somebody said, we you talking about Epps? I was like, yeah, I know I know seven other people missed it, that too. That was Epps' fault. But he had him no, in the yes. hole, and he just <laughs> dove at his ankle, yeah. and he hopped him. Like, yeah. so like what do you – did you – you're like, did you watch the play? I'm like, did yes, you watch right. the play? They even replayed like, it and pointed out what Epps yeah, missed. Yeah, I'm like, yes, he he juked 19 other people, but the first one was Epps. Was Epps. And Epps wasn't blocked. No. Epps read the play perfectly. He was right there so yeah. a lot of people making business decisions and also if anybody knows uh slay i might tweet him uh i can get you a better microphone and a better setup bro your your audio is trash i try to listen to his thing and i can't because <laughs> it's just echoey in his come room. on our show instead uh, you, i mean he should <laughs> yeah. or just let me come over and just i mean just give me like 500 dollars. i'll buy you the stuff that you need to sound better like or you could just ask travis <laughs> <laughs> the Kelsey brothers, yes. like just buy a better. They got the whole setup. That's buy, Jason, just, don't, don't talk just, to Travis. Just buy a better microphone, bro. <laughs> just buy a better microphone. I can't stand it. It's so echoey in his room. Yeah. But he balled till he fought, and they did what they did. And the defense is the defense. And yes, next week we will exclusively talk about the Super Bowl, where I tell the Chiefs and Andy Reid to go fuck themselves too. Yeah, can't because... wait for Andy to use all them timeouts at the wrong time. <sighs> Still he, does it. Twenty so, years in the league. So <laughs> I, I will just say this. There is no way in the world the Chiefs beat the Eagles. There's no way in the world. Love it. Um, that being said, Lane, stay healthy, my friend. Yeah. Hyperbaric that's the, chamber. That's the only way we lose. Hyperbaric chamber. That's the, only way, <laughs> that's the only way we can lose the game is Lane ain't there. Yeah. Because Lane is everything. Lane is Captain America. Yeah. And I don't know. People are talking about how Hurts wasn't throwing with his shoulder and all that. We talked. About, I talked about this earlier with somebody else. Like they could run the ball a hundred times in a row versus Kansas City. If they win that game, I don't give a shit. Yeah. <laughs> and I, it's the. This is what I hate about national media and just television in general. Mm-hmm. Hurts wasn't throwing the ball accurately. Yeah, because their defense had up that shit. Wagner and Bosa, <laughs> right? Like, well, he was protected, but they're still coming. Yes, and you still know they're coming. So it makes you go a tick faster to say, "Hey, I can't do it today. Yes. I have to get rid of this Warner. ball." We right keep now. saying Wagner, Fred Warner, Warner, by the way, and Warner can cover everywhere, which yeah. makes their defense that much harder yeah. to uh, decipher. So again, like I, I get that he had a couple overthrows and a couple misthrows, yeah. but let let somebody keep running in your face like that. He's got to hit that deep ball. That's two weeks in a row he's missed a deep one, but. I'm all good. Wins. They won the game. It's they all good. The game. And uh, I mean, he hit he hit Devontae. That's all I know. Sort of. No, <laughs> he hit Devontae. It's a catch. Devontae, <laughs> Statue of Liberty out. He was like, he looked like a supermodel. <laughs> <laughs> he got out there, the ball hit him in the hands. Uh, he didn't come down with it, but he came down with it. You know what I mean? Yeah. This, Hurry up. <laughs> this, this is the new hearts for me. Just yeah. this, this, this means I love you. <laughs> I still can't believe the Niners coaches were like, what are they doing? Confused. Like somebody's gonna be like, man, I think we should challenge that. <laughs> I can tell you, fuck the 49ers. Yeah. Fuck the Giants. Remember, I oh, told you. told you last week he wasn't so, a good coach. So I'm gonna tell you. Ahead, now, this me. is something that nobody's talked about. Uh oh. I'm gonna tell you a secret <gasps> and I'll put it out there on the internet. Maybe it'll go viral because this is a secret that nobody talks about. If, it, if it's the fuck Tom Brady ran again, we're, it, I'm no. here for it. Well, it's, it's not. Okay. So here's the secret. The Statue of Liberty color system and Twitter account mm-hmm. is connected to an app. Okay. Hundreds of people have this app. Okay. They're usually the connected and the wealthy. Yeah. But I've seen people, I've been at parties, and they're like, what color do you want the Statue of Liberty to be? Okay. And I'm like, what? And they go on their phone, and they change the colors. Make it green. They go on there, and they tweet a thing. And yeah. I'm like, how are you doing that? And they're like, oh, I got the codes to get into the thing. Yeah. And I'm like, okay. Seems like a security breach. 
<laughs> you would think it's a security breach, but it's an elite status type thing, oh, right? Yeah. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know either. I've just seen it. So I can't even get a third party Twitter app to work. So. One of those people, well, <laughs> Elon fucked that all up. Yeah. So one of the people mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. went on there and is Eagles fan yeah. and just changed it and tweeted it out. Made a green. Story over. That's that's how it happens because too many people have access, as yeah. you said, security breach. Yeah. <laughs> too many people have access to it, so you don't really know who's doing it. Netflix won't even let you share passwords anymore. We're letting the Statue of Liberty color just get changed by everybody. <laughs> like, Empire State Building, but same difference. Oh, you said Statue of Liberty. See, I did. I'm drinking. Damn it! it. You said Wagner. We got to redo the whole show. Like <laughs> Wagner, Statue of Liberty, Warner. Yeah, Warner. Well, Man, I'm drunk off of passion because I'm going to the Super Bowl. <laughs> By the way, why are the Eagles who rolls? They got to be in dumb places all the time. I mean, I wasn't going anyway. You can't afford um, them. But like, Arizona's not a dumb place. There's not a lot to do there, though. That's it's the not. point. You go there, you get drunk, you watch football. Yeah. That's really it. Yeah. There's a lot of hot chicks in like Miami. There's a um, lot of hot women. Last time it was in fucking Minnesota. They had to go to Jacksonville well, the one year. Well, the, okay. When you say it like that, like, it sounds It's always bad. somewhere weird. Like, yeah, if we would have went to L.A. last yeah, year, that that's all, cool. you know. Yeah, but... Yeah, you're okay. When That's you say, what I meant by when it. you say it like that. I mean, Arizona, yes, Arizona yeah. is nice. Yeah, but you know, okay, it's just not as cool as the other places. Um, not here, not at the moment, but there is a uh, black gritty t-shirts and hoodies coming soon, so that'll be fun. Yeah, uh, follow Jason on the internet because he knows things. He shares things. He's better than me. Slacking on Twitter though because I got screwed up by that app thing. <laughs> Yeah. It's got me all messed up. Elon, creature of habit. <laughs> e Elon's about to start charging people to use third party things, so all third party things are going to go away because they don't want to pay for it because they're cheap, but they want to charge you for it anyway. Oh, I'm not cheap. I'm poor. Not you. I'm talking about the companies. <laughs> I know. The, the ABI I'm poor. companies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> stop, stop telling people who are poor. <laughs> we know we're poor. They don't need to know we're poor. I am. Matter of fact, we're not poor. Send us the. Yeah, I know. Send us the radio row. No, I'm yeah, just kidding. But yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. Man, look. One day. We'll be a radio That's right. row one day. Uh, Giving out black gritty if I, Right? If I could see, like, I've seen weird people ask questions at the Super Bowl. Uh, I'll, I'll work on it. That, that's my two-year plan. I just want to ask a regular question. There. I don't even want to ask a stupid question. I, I want to ask a re I want to ask any question that they'll allow me to ask. How about that? I asked Fred Wagner how they changed the colors of the Statue of Liberty. And I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Get out. That, that Damn it. That is definitely his name. <laughs> yeah. And I'm glad that you caught on to my disrespect. <laughs> That's <laughs> what it was. Oh, no, it was definitely disrespect. Because yeah. he was, oh, man, I, I don't know. Everybody's tweeting. Yeah, I'm trying to end the show, bro. Everybody tweet. <laughs> Michael Parsons, done, he's so lonely. He wants to be a Philly and thirsty. So bad. He wants to be on the Eagles so bad. He loves Philadelphia. He, he cannot does. stop his fandom. That's why he said what he said about Jalen, because yep. he was jelly. Peanut butter and jealous. They're all just. Des Bryant even came out and said, damn, I don't even play no more, and I'm jealous of the Eagles, and I'm tired of fucking Cowboys bullshit. Dallas should be, because fuck them too. <laughs> <laughs> Look, yo, if, if we win the Super Bowl, or excuse me, when we win the Super when? Bowl, the first year Nick has a failed season, we fire him, we hire another rookie coach, yes. we get rid of Jalen, yes. we get another quarterback, and then we run the whole thing back again. Oh, yeah, because they the Super Bowl in like two years, Nick's t shirts, they ever like, yo, this guy is yeah. so fucking late. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, he's out. He's out. Yeah. Like, I'm not trying to keep a guy for 30 years anymore. Because what I keep trying to tell people all the time is, you wouldn't pay all that money for Sean Payton. He's got one Super Bowl. Same, almost the Ma same record as uh, Mike McCarthy. McCarthy, same yeah, like, thing. Ridiculous. One Super Bowl. Yes. Rodgers, one Super Bowl. I can go through all these top team names, all these one Super Bowl. Guess what? The quarterback coach combo, unless you're Tom Brady, unless you're Tomlin or Cower, who gets like lucky, but even then the quarterback change, right. you're not going to be able to sustain it. You need a refresh. Right. If you don't win. In the first, I guess it's like five years, you're not going to win one. Usually you don't. That's right. Quarterback coach combo. First five years, you're not going to win one. Mm -hmm. And after that, you're not going to win anymore because you're going to live off the glory of winning. And so, he was the weird one because they ended up with Mahomes. Because well, they had Alex Smith forever. Remember, they used to choke but, in the playoffs but, every year. But, you could bet on that shit. But that's my point of like changing the regime, right? Yes. So you got to make changes. You got to right. make wholesale changes. Because sticking with the whole... Herbert. Herbert's never going to win the Super Bowl. I'll okay. tell you that right now. Certainly not with that coach. No. I don't think he'll win anyway. Well, they got, they got coach. out. They got who they get from? Kellen Moore. Kellen Moore. Don't matter. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Same fucking bullshit. Oh, and Dallas Different had the day. number one offense or top three offense the last two years, and now they're going to change who calls their offensive plays. And they're going to let That's McCarthy the and they're going to let McCarthy call the plays when he right. can't call timeouts on time. Sucks as a play caller. Oh my God. Uh, Aaron Rodgers used to just F him off all the time with the eye rolls and just change plays and like <laughs> 
I'm your boy, Black Ready, Black Ready. <laughs> IQMZ Sports. That's Jason Ferguson. <laughs> uh, follow us on the internet uh, if you have a problem with my hate for Tom Brady. Then message Jason because he loves Tom Brady too. Because he's a Michigan man. That's right. He's staying. That's my man. Yes, that's him. <laughs> you gonna stand? Beside? Yes, Jason's gonna stand beside. Oh, he cheated your Eagles. Yes, he did. But Michigan first. He was a Michigan first. He was my baby Should've first. Yeah, right. See, I, see now I know. Oh my God, we're out. All right.